Z-canceling is a technique that cancels the landing lag of aerial attacks. Doing so drastically speeds up your gameplay and makes combos that otherwise would be impossible, possible. Landing an aerial attack on the ground causes your character to go into a short animation. These animations are called air attack landing animations. Depending on the attack, these animations last around 20 to 30 frames, and during that time, you're unable to move. However, Z canceling these attacks reduces their lag to 4 frames, basically allowing you to move a hell of a lot quicker. To perform a Z cancel, simply push the Z button right before you land, and there you have it, you just performed a Z cancel. While the majority of aerial attacks can be cancelled, there are three exceptions. Ness's up air, Pikachu's up air, and Ness's down air. These three attacks auto cancel and therefore don't need to be Z cancelled. Hey gamers, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to pivot in Smash Bros 64. So let's get right into it. Now pivoting is a useful technique that can be used for grabbing opponents, grabbing the ledge, and tricking your opponents in general. So this is the basic hand movement for moving towards the right and pivoting to the left. And this is the hand movement for moving towards the left and pivoting right. Now it's hard to see on camera because you have to do it pretty quickly, but I'll try my best to explain. A pivot can only be performed during the beginning of your character's dash. So let's start out by attempting to move to the right and pivoting towards the left. So what you want to do is quickly dash to the right, then make a reverse C-shaped motion downwards. And when you get towards the bottom, quickly let go of the thumbstick and let it return back to its neutral position. So to do it the opposite direction, you make a C-shaped motion starting from the top, and just like before, once you get towards the bottom, quickly let go of the thumbstick and let it return back to its neutral position. If you do it correctly, your character should look something like this. Now to pivot grab, you would do the same motion, but this time right after you pivot, grab your opponent. Now you're probably asking, why would I want to do that? Why not just run up and grab him normally? Well, pivot grabbing is pretty situational, and in a lot of cases going for a normal grab would be the better way to go. But take for example this situation. Let's pretend that you're Captain Falcon and you want to grab Pikachu and throw him off the edge to his death. Seems simple, right? Just run up and throw him backwards, get the kill, and move on. But let's say you're in this situation. You're here and Pikachu's here. Now, you can't just run up and throw him backwards anymore because at this part of the stage, a back throw at this percent won't kill. And also at this percent, a forward throw from Falcon won't allow you to follow up with any type of combo. This is where pivot grabbing could be useful. Simply run towards Pikachu, pivot grab towards the left, perform a back throw, and enjoy the kill. Basically, knowing how to pivot grab gives you more options, and having more options is never a bad thing. Besides grabbing your opponent, pivoting can also be useful for quickly grabbing the edge. Now, the timing on this can be a little tough, and it's going to take a lot of practice, but if you do it correctly, it'll look something like this. Now, certain characters have a harder time doing this than others, and the timing's a little bit different depending on who you're using. Like anything else, it just takes a lot of practice to master. One thing you can do if you're having issues with this is pivot right before the ledge and then jump and fast fall towards the ledge to grab it. It's not as fast, but it's still very useful. Well, that pretty much covers the basics of pivoting in Smash Bros 64 but don't be afraid to experiment with it. It's a useful technique and if used properly will definitely help you out. Alright gamers, that's all I have for this video, but in the comment section down below, please let me know if you enjoyed this video. Until my next video, peace.